What's going on there, folks? Good evening. I know it's kind of late out here. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream, uh, but I got an earthquake coming in right now to the Argentina area. Uh, it is uh, Monday evening, February 21st, 2022, about 10:20 uh, p.m. California time. And if you look on the left bottom side of the screen there on the seismograph station, you can see a pretty strong signal of a large earthquake there in the uh, Chile region. But this is actually coming from a uh, six-pointer around the Argentina area. Looking at the latest info here on the EMSC CSEM European model earthquake map. Shows that 6.0 earthquake right there on the map here. Pretty large earthquake. Actually, looks like they just downgraded it to a 5.7, but the depth here at 220 kilometers uh, below the surface. Nothing coming in yet from the USGS map. Uh, just check that. I don't see anything new here. We have been seeing some older movement here along the Peru-Chile Trench over the last 24 hours, but the big push of activity throughout the day today has been the enormous amount of of earthquake activity throughout the Pacific Plate and the uh, areas to the west. Uh, pretty highly dynamic region here. Uh, activity that we've seen today is just quite impressive, let me tell you. Also some larger scale movement down south here uh, in the Balany Islands area. Originally came in as a 6.6. .6. Now it uh, looks like it da got downgraded there to a 6.3. We are seeing a little bit of uptick. I'm going to wait here on the USGS and see if they issue uh, this earthquake that's coming in there to the South America region. It does take them quite a while. I get it. Uh, but we'll see what they say. We have seen a little bit of uptick here along the North American plate with a temporary halt here in earthquake activity over the last hour or so in the western part of the Pacific plate. Uh, I believe that's kind of adding to the stress back behind it here to the east. So that would include areas here of the North American plate. We've seen some activity up here right smack dab on the Abrali seismic zone around the Salton Sea area. Looking at a 2.5 there. Striking within the last hour. The red circle indicating that most recent earthquake. Also up here along the southern end of the San Andreas Fault zone as well. Uh, seen some movement within the last hour with a 1.1 near the uh, Beaumont area. 19.7 kilometers. That's pretty deep there into that region. Uh, also activity in Oklahoma ramping up around the uh, Medford area, out there in the Wakita Trend gas fields. Quite a bit uh, of activity uh, within just about the last hour or so. I've seen a, th a couple hours, 3.3 .3 and a 2.5 kicking up there in that region. So I think if we continue to see a halt here, a temporary halt, you know, maybe it's possible we're still just building strain over here to the west, but how much strain is it gonna take uh, to uh, continue the further earthquake sequences that we're seeing? We'll see, right? Uh, movement in the Puerto Rico area also picking up here. Just it never fails with this teeter-totter effect here recently uh, with activity calming down here within the last hour or so along the west. Things up here in the east get cracking a little bit. That includes the North American and the Caribbean plate where we're seeing a little swarm of activity, right? I'd say that a pretty that's a pretty good swarm. Within the last hour here, a couple earthquakes there in the two department. Uh, 2.9 looks to be the largest quake. That's kind of up here north of the Puerto Rico area, right around the uh, uh, San Juan area. Puerto Rico Trench specifically looks kind of quiet for now. That may be a good thing. Uh, over here around the uh, Dominica area, 4.4. And uh, that one's uh, about 41.8 kilometers uh, below the surface. So looking at some of the activity here while we wait on the USGS. I know this map updates by itself, but uh, I don't see the uh, earthquake coming in yet. I want to check out the trimmer map here along the Cascadia, right? Probably expect that to be pretty quiet. And that was the case once again with the lack of pressure and the movement here along the West Coast, the North American plate, all the westward movement with the entire uh, Pacific plate uh, kind of would expect the lack of activity in that region. And that kind of looks like that is the story again tonight in the Cascadia subduction zone. Zero trimmer being reported. I know the hand is still... I, I, don't know why it's doing that. It's just the oddest thing. Uh, let's check out the Earthquakes Canada map and see if these folks are reporting anything. Nope, just that one earthquake up here in the uh, Yukon Territory near Kino. 3.3 earlier today. Uh, let's get back over here to the USGS map 
And look at the movement up here in the Gulf of Alaska. Westward through the Aleutian Trench, quite the active movement today with quite a few fours, including um, movement here around the Gulf, just south of the subduction zone, some shallower earthquake activity in a little swarm fashion here. Seen a 4.2 and a couple threes kicking off here prior uh, to the subduction point. So uh, quite a bit of strain on this area of the Aleutian Trench. Got to watch that pretty closely. But uh, now with the halt of activity here to the west, it's interesting to see um, the major buildup popping off here in the west coast. Got to watch that pretty closely. Uh, did see some further activity to the west here as we continue that westward movement with the uh, pressure. Uh, Afghanistan and the Pakistan seeing a little bit of activity tonight as well. Of course, we had that earthquake over here in the UK earlier this morning with a 3.2 striking just outside of the Birmingham area. Quite a few folks did report feeling that. Not a major quake, but an odd one nonetheless. And uh, had that big one down here in the Balony Islands area. So just quite a bit of movement. I want to show you guys the dynamics here of the uh, South American plate. Um, this is a little bit, uh, if you guys can read it here, you got North American plate, the Pacific plate here. General westward movement, maybe a little bit of northward, northwestward movement here uh, into uh, this region of the Philippine Plate and the Japan Kurokamchaka Trench, all putting heightened pressure on this region today. Uh, therefore, that's why we've seen quite a bit of movement out here up and down the board, but it's definitely large scale, a lot more than uh, what I'm used to seeing out there on the map. Uh, down here in the South America region, kind of got the Pacific Rift Zone out here, right? Creating that pressure gradient back to the east along the subduction plate of the South America region, the Peru Chile Trench. And uh, it's kind of uh, kind of an area to watch, even though it's been pretty quiet in terms of um, recent movement prior to the to the uh, six pointer that's coming in right now, or 5.7. Uh, still gonna watch this pretty closely for some possible larger scale movement up and down that uh, area. Still nothing coming in from the USGS folks, not for sure what's going on. Uh, let me double check the EMSC model, see if these guys are uh, on with the ball here. Do, 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 do. These guys uh, downgraded again, down to a 5.6, but either... They're still showing a 6.0 here, but uh, 5.6 up here on the map. USGS late to the party, folks, as always. We'll uh, see what these folks want to report uh, we'll cover some solar weather here real quick while we're uh, waiting for them. If they get to it, I don't know. Today's a holiday, right? It should be a should be a preliminary earthquake though with that magnitude. Uh, what do we got? Uh, solar weather. Wait, where did it go? I could have swore I clicked on it. Let me see here. Solarham.com. I uh, did have some sea flaring earlier today. It looks like up in the uh, uh, lower sea range, mid sea range. But uh, looks pretty green. Look at all this. A lot of greenage across the board when it comes to the uh, threat for any type of activity. There is some storming kicking up here tonight, though. See that? Uh, kicking up around the KP4 index. If that goes any higher, we could be at a G1 class storm. And that really wasn't predicted, I don't think, tonight. So these things just come and go at surprise parties. Uh, 2955, 2954, kind of rounding the bin. Um... We'll see what happens. Uh, what do we got here? This person saying, over my 25 plus years of observing the sun, I have learned to not get overly excited about the prospects of an incoming active region based on what it did while on the far side of the sun. Uh, you just set yourself up for disappointment. That said, this is disappointing. Okay. <laughs> Although AR2555 appears to only have one sunspot visible, the white area of magnetic pl uh, plague nearby should make it a threat for at least uh, some minor sea flares. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's. Uh, I thought it was going to be an interesting story there, but uh, doesn't look too promising. Uh, let's see. Nothing going on there. Okay, so we're not going to wait all around all night with the uh, USGS. All I know is we've got to watch this area along the west coast now. Uh, things have come pretty much to a halt here temporarily along the western part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire and areas to the west. So uh, unless something decides to give over here, 
I think we need to watch the West Coast now. Just that bounce back teeter totter effect. I've seen it lots of times, and it's uh, it happens more often than it doesn't. So uh, watching it pretty closely, folks. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. We'll check these guys out uh, real quick. There's some swarming kicking up here on the uh, borehole Lake Butte the promontory area. Uh, looks like right over the Lake Yellowstone region, getting in on quite a few earthquakes here. Over the last at least three hours, four hours or so tonight, had some movement in the afternoon as well, but uh, kind of watching that, kind of kicking up there pretty good in the Yellowstone region, that activity showing up on, like I mentioned, the Lake Butte, Little West Thumb, picking it up as well. Uh, when that happens, that's obvious general genuine earthquake activity taking place there in Yellowstone. Nothing significant, but uh, earthquake activity nonetheless and not showing up there on the USGS map, as you can see. In fact, the Pacific Northwest looks pretty quiet. Not a peep of an earthquake there from the activity today in Yellowstone from the USGS there. So let's we'll see if they get it on. Oh, wow, these guys these guys still kicking up to 6.0 magnitude here. Uh, so we'll go with that. Uh, unless they decide to downgrade it, but coming in as a 6.0 Argentina. See, that's the thing. The EMSC is pretty uh, pretty quick on the ball when it comes to preliminary earthquake data. But, uh, you know, these guys bounce back and forth uh, from 5.6 to, um, you know, 6.0 like they originally had it. But uh, USGS showing a 6.0 in the Argentina region deep into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench. This area gets a lot of deep earthquake activity. A regional information here, even deeper over here to the east, really deep. Uh, we get these subduction zone quakes here. Well, they're all subduction zone, but the, uh, uh, the more surface feature ones here uh, back to the west. But as you can see, uh, definitely kicking up there in the uh, deep zone of the uh, Peru Chile Trench. So. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. There's All I know is there's a whole lot going on, folks. I haven't seen this active in quite a long time. Um, what it's leading to, who knows? I mean, when we see Pacific, when we see unrest like this, pretty much globally, it's a, it's a sign that is probably not just going to stop all at once. It's kind of leading to something, um, if not a period of extended activity like this, uh, which we have kind of seen it in the past. Uh, all this heightened movement. Uh, I think we had a little period maybe a year or two ago when it was super active like this. And uh, it went on for quite some time. But uh, all I know is a lot of plate shuffling going on. And it's good to, be, uh, good to be on guard for sure, folks. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. And I think it's bedtime. I'm kind of kind of past my bedtime hour. Kids are in bed. But uh, this earthquake came in, so I thought I would give you guys a heads up. Um, yeah, have a good night, folks. Peace out.